So, OpenAI is scared, really scared, and the reason is none other than DeepSeek. For years, OpenAI has been sitting comfortably at the top, leading the charge in artificial intelligence, basking in the glow of ChatGPT's dominance. But now, there's a new player in town and it's making Silicon Valley very nervous. A Chinese AI firm called DeepSeek has burst onto the scene and OpenAI's alarm bells are ringing loud and clear. This isn't just competition. This threatens OpenAI's supremacy and they're scrambling to respond. Let's break this down. Artificial intelligence isn't just a tech trend. It's the next global power struggle. Whoever leads in A, I doesn't just win in Silicon Valley, they win the future. We're talking about economic dominance, military superiority, and the ability to shape global narratives. And for the longest time, the US has been holding that crown. But China isn't just catching up, they're accelerating. Deep Seek in particular is proof that China isn't playing around. Deep Seek's advancements in language modeling, reasoning, and even multimodal capabilities suggest that China is producing AI that can go toe to toe with OpenAI's best offerings. Their models aren't just powerful, they're efficient, scalable, and designed to challenge the Western monopoly on AI research. And that's exactly why OpenAI is worried. For years, they've been seen as the undisputed leader leader, setting the gold standard for AI. But now, DeepSeek has emerged as a serious contender, capable of pushing boundaries just as aggressively. And what does OpenAI do when faced with a serious challenger? They panic. Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, is basically waving a giant red flag in front of the US government. He's sounding the alarm. Hey, we've got a problem. China's AI is getting really, really good. He's warning policymakers that China might soon be on equal footing with OpenAI and DeepSeek is Exhibit A. In a 15-page letter addressed to the US government, OpenAI warned that DeepSeek's low-cost AI Model R, one, signifies China's growing AI ambitions and underscores the tightening competition between the rival countries. Altman acknowledged DeepSeek's R1 as an impressive model, stating that such invigorating competition would push OpenAI to release better models faster. He also emphasized the narrowing lead of the US in AI development, urging policymakers to implement strategies to maintain America's AI leadership. It's no secret that DeepSeek's latest AI models are fast, powerful, and competitive. Their large language models are edging closer to OpenAI's in quality and that means OpenAI's once unquestioned dominance is officially in jeopardy. Let's be real. This isn't about security concerns or ethical AI development. This is about power. OpenAI sees DeepSeek as an existential threat because for the first time, they might not be the ones in the driver's seat. DeepSeek isn't just some random startup. This is a company backed by serious funding, serious research, and serious ambitions. And the worst part for OpenAI, DeepSeek's models are improving fast. We've seen this pattern before. Just look at how China overtook the US in 5G technology. While US firms were still figuring out how to scale their infrastructure, Huawei and ZTE were rolling out next-gen 5G networks across Asia, Europe, and Africa. They didn't just build fast, they built cheap and well. By 2020, China had more 5G base stations than the rest of the world combined, and their networks were powering everything from smart cities to autonomous vehicles. The US scrambled to catch up, issuing bans, sanctions, and trade restrictions to slow Huawei down, but the damage was already done. China had established itself as the world's 5G powerhouse, and the rest of the world took notice. Remember when Chinese EVs were considered low-quality knockoffs of Tesla? Fast forward to today, and Chinese companies like BYD, NIO, and Xpeng are not just matching Western innovation, they're setting the pace. BYD, in fact, outsold Tesla globally in EV volume in late 2023. Their secret? A tightly integrated domestic supply chain, advanced battery tech, and aggressive pricing strategies. They focused on scale, efficiency, and mass accessibility, while many US EV makers struggled with production delays, rising costs, and supply chain issues. Now, China isn't just leading in EV sales, it's also becoming the go-to exporter for electric cars in Europe and Southeast Asia. Even semiconductors were once considered China's Achilles heel, until they weren't. 
The US tried to restrict China's access to advanced chips through export bans and partnerships with companies like ASML and NVIDIA. But China responded by doubling down on domestic innovation. Through government funding, talent repatriation programs, and national tech initiatives, China is fast-tracking chip development via companies like SMIC and Yangtze Memory Technologies. And even though they're still behind in producing the most cutting-edge chips, through government funding, talent repatriation programs, and national tech initiatives, China is fast-tracking chip development via companies like SMIC and Yangtze Memory Technologies. And even though they're still behind in producing the most cutting-edge chips, they've already mastered mid-range manufacturing and are now designing alternatives that reduce dependency on US and Taiwanese suppliers. They're playing the long game and winning slowly but surely. Now, this is happening in AI and DeepSeek is leading that charge. Their AI systems are built to compete directly with ChatGPT and OpenAI's most advanced models. They've built models that generate human-like text with near OpenAI level fluency, translate languages faster and more accurately, solve complex problems with advanced reasoning skills and compete with OpenAI's infrastructure without relying on US tech that last point is critical. China is moving toward full AI independence. They're reducing reliance on NVIDIA chips, developing their own semiconductor solutions, and scaling AI infrastructure at a rate that makes even Silicon Valley jealous. Here's the real reason OpenAI is sweating. They want to be the gatekeepers of AI. If they control AI, they control the narrative, the technology, and most importantly, the money. OpenAI has positioned itself as a responsible AI leader, constantly talking about safety, ethics and alignment. But this also allows them to define what safe and aligned AI even means. If they're the primary voice shaping how AI is talked about in media, government and academia, they can steer public opinion and policy to align with their interests. That includes justifying why open access is dangerous and why centralization, i.e. them holding the keys, is necessary. Additionally, by keeping powerful models closed source, e.g. GPT-4, Sora, Whisper 3, OpenAI effectively locks competitors out from replicating or building on their breakthroughs. They set the pace of innovation and slow down the rest. Their focus on APIs and licensing, rather than open research, shows that the name OpenAI has become more of a brand than a mission. They're also investing in infrastructure monopolies, custom chips, proprietary training data, and exclusive partnerships with Microsoft. If you want access to cutting-edge models, you'll increasingly have to go through OpenAI or its affiliates. Let's not pretend this is purely altruistic. Whoever controls the most capable AI models controls the future of hundreds of industries, from finance and law to entertainment, education and defense. It's not just about building AI tools, it's about becoming the platform layer for intelligence. This is the holy grail, owning the rails that every other tech company has to run on. So yes, OpenAI is sweating, not just because of competition from anthropic XAI or open source movements, but because the illusion of central control is slipping. If powerful open models emerge, or if developers opt for decentralized, community-driven approaches, OpenAI loses its grip on all three pillars, narrative, technology, and money. But DeepSeek, DeepSeek represents a different future, one where OpenAI isn't the sole ruler of the AI world. And for a company that's been operating with unchecked dominance, that's a nightmare. Sam Altman and his team don't just want to stay ahead, they want to control the race. And if DeepSeek is proving that China can develop cutting-edge AI without OpenAI, that monopoly starts slipping through their fingers. And that's bad news for OpenAI's investors. Bad news for their business model. Bad news for their power. The AI race isn't just about tech, it's about global influence. If China wins, that means the future of AI governance, ethics, and decision-making could shift eastward. And that terrifies Washington just as much as it terrifies OpenAI. That's why Sam Altman isn't just talking to tech insiders. He's running to the US government. He's essentially saying, we need to slow China down. We need restrictions, regulations, anything to keep OpenAI ahead. But here's the twist. DeepSeek isn't breaking any rules. They're just competing. And they're doing it well. 
The question is, should OpenAI be focused on building better AI, or are they more interested in keeping others from catching up? So what happens next? Does OpenAI double down, innovate, and actually fight this battle in the open market? Or do they keep lobbying governments to clamp down on their biggest threat? And what about DeepSeek? Do they push even further, proving that China can match, if not surpass, Silicon Valley's AI dominance? One thing's for sure, the AI race just got way more interesting. Open AI is scared. DeepSeek is rising. And the world is watching to see who comes out on top. So fasten your seatbelts. This battle is just getting started.